Yo, what is going on everybody? Expert Gamer here bringing you guys my review for Dragon Ball Super Episode 4. But before we get into it, like always, make sure to leave a thumbs up on the video if you do enjoy and subscribe if you would like to see more of my videos. But without further ado, let's get into Episode 4. I can say this right now, if you just skip this episode and watch episode 5 when it comes out, you are not missing much at all. The only things that really happened in this episode were just seeing Goten and Trunks go on another little adventure, uh, seeing Pilaf and his gang just do whatever they want to do, try to find the Dragon Balls, and then at the very end we did see Beerus and Whis come to King Kai's planet. So this starts off with King Kai worrying about Beerus' arrival, and it's not really that big of a deal because at the end of episode 3 I believe, or somewhere in it, we already saw King Kai worried about Beerus, so they're just refreshing your memories if you missed the last episode. So that wasn't really that important, but moving on we are going to be seeing another Trunks and Goten adventure. They're just running around the cruise ship trying to find the prizes, and when they get there, I believe the prizes are like a house, a plane, a diamond, a car. I don't know if there's a boat, I don't think there was a boat, but I'm just trying to remember it off the top of my head. And then of course the Dragon Balls. And it was weird, the Dragon Balls were like hidden underground in some electric fencing in a tube, so they just did not want anybody to mess with the Dragon Balls whatsoever. And also we found out when it uh, switched over to Pilaf, when they are underground with the electric fencing and in the tube, you cannot use the dragon radar to see them, and we know this because Pilaf had out his uh, radar, and when the balls were up and out of the tubing, out of the fencing, and they were just good for anybody to take, the dragon ball showed up on his radar, but when Trunks and Goten returned the shield and put it back down into the ground, the dragon balls disappeared from his radar completely. I just thought that that was kind of funny, and if you guys didn't know, I actually really like Emperor Pilaf and his gang for the sole purpose that they're only there for comical purposes they're not main villains they're not strong at all they're just there to make the episode funny so they just try to assume where the dragon balls are get in their boat and start rowing out the boat breaks down shark attacks them and then trunks and goten help them up into the ship and give them a meal Second to last thing that happened in this episode, we saw Vegeta training again to try to get stronger than Goku, obviously. And I think she's just some capsule corporation lady that works at the front desk, I don't know. She comes in with a phone and Bulma is on the phone trying to get Vegeta to go to the party, I'm assuming. And I say I'm assuming because the subs are not out yet, so you just have to guess with the context that's given to you. And to me, that makes the most sense. But the very last thing that happens in this episode, back to King Kai's planet, he is explaining to Goku who Beerus is, and he also says there are gods that give life, there are gods that destroy, just so Goku can get the whole god aspect of things. And then finally, Beerus and we show up on the planet at the very last part of the episode. It was crazy, I'm so hyped for episode 5 because in the little preview at the very end of the episode, we did see Super Saiyan 3 Goku, Super Saiyan Goku, all his different forms start to fight Beerus, and it's just going to be such a good episode because that's the first fight that we're actually going to be seeing, the first main fight. So yeah, that's pretty much everything that happened in episode 4, but before I end it off, I just want to say one thing, and it's the animation of this episode. Like, when... It zoomed in on people's faces, the lines got really thick around their face, and honestly, it was just an eyesore. I really don't like it, but I'm just praying that they take it out. I hope that it was just a little test to see how people like it, but I know me personally and a lot of other people had a problem with the thicker lines and I'd like it to be taken out. I'm one of those people, but that's just me. So tell me what you guys think about this episode. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you would like to see more Dragon Ball content. But I'm going to head out of here now. Peace out, everybody.